Now, the business environment in Nigeria has proven to be challenging for many enterprises, particularly for the small and uh, micro businesses. The inflationary pressure that the country has been experiencing for some time now has left many small businesses struggling to stay afloat. They are fighting to keep their businesses together and above water and avoid being categorized as one of those that are actually falling. Although MSMEs are considered the foundation of Nigeria's economy, their future looks green. The challenges of coping with poor infrastructure, reduced disposable income, inflation, insecurity and high energy costs are taking a toll on these businesses with adverse effect being felt. That's our focus for today. Business Instart starts right now. I am Justin Akadoni. Welcome back and now to some trending business headlines. The Central Bank of Nigeria says the foreign exchange restriction imposed on the importation of stockfish was to resuscitate the domestic fishery industries, conserve foreign exchange and improve employment generation. This follows revelations by the Norwegian Seafood Council that stockfish imports to Nigeria from Norway declined by 5.9% to 3.2 billion in 2022 from 3.4 billion in 2021. The council has revealed that 10,740 metric tons of stockfish comprising both the head and bodies were imported into the country in 2022 behind 14,997 and 13,845 metric tons of mackerel and herrings imported during the same period. Speaking at the just concluded Norwegian Seafood Seminar held in Lagos, Director of Trade and Exchange, Department of the CBN, Dr. Zemina Naji said that the Apex Bank had to include stockfish among the 43 items that have been restricted from accessing forex due to the scarce foreign exchange currently being experienced in the country. Now, the value of outstanding corporate bonds listed on the FMDQ Securities Exchange rose year on year by 50.9% to 1.498 trillion naira in February this year, from 993.57 billion naira in the corresponding period of 2022. FMDQ's monthly financial market report for February also showed that the figure rose month on month by 6.94% from 1.401 trillion naira recorded in January. A breakdown of listings in the corporate bond space showed that the total value of corporate bonds issued and listed on FMDQ exchange in February 2023 alone stood at 115 billion naira, bucking the trend in the last two months, that is December 2022 and January 2023, when there were no listings on the exchange. Nigerian equities market closed positive as the key market indicator advanced by 250.75 basic points amid positive market breadth. The NGX All Share Index advanced by 0.49% to close at 51,606.49 basis point as against the 0.35% recorded previously to close at 51,355.74 basis point at the end of last trading session. In Naira terms, the NGX market cap records 190 or 136.54 billion Naira gain. Year to date, the NGX ASI stands at 0.69%. The total volume traded advanced by 247.90% to close at 2.09 billion Naira, valued at 8.85 billion naira. Now Transcorp was the most traded stock by volume with 1.66 billion while Transcorp was the most traded stock by value with 4.09 billion units traded. Now the transactions done by foreign investors on the Nigerian Exchange Limited decreased by 53.16% from 19.62 billion naira to 9.19 billion naira between February and March this year. This was disclosed in the March edition of the Domestic and Foreign Portfolio Investment Report of the NGX, which was released this month. Also, as of March 31st this year, total transactions at the local boss decreased by 22.60% from 188.91 billion naira in February 2023 to 146.22 billion naira in March this year. 
We'll take a quick break and we'll return. We'll be looking at uh, the state of SMEs in Nigeria in a moment. We have our guest standing by to join us again. <laughs> 